hey it's cuddles and again we're in planet zoo i've been having a little read through the developer journal now it's the fifth developer journal and it is the one that talks about zookeepers and staff paths now in my very first uh, video talking about my excitement at the idea of planet zoo coming out and my whole new world in front of me i did mention how i was interested intrigued about how this would work i like the fact that our zookeepers would after research be able to feed our animals better quicker faster more appropriately making our animals happier which therefore makes our guests happier You've got to remember Cuddles is a management person. She likes that side of it, as well as the fluffy creatures, but I do like the whole idea of the management control of it. Much less the creative side. That's that's grim side. So that excited me. And then this developer journal has come out. It talks about how vital zookeepers are. Well, that's kind of an obvious one for us. Talking about the fact that they need to provide the food, the water, and that requirements, cleaning up after animals, that's scooping the poop or hoovering the poop as we like to see from the clips. Mm -hmm. Um, so in order to do that they have created zoo paths or sorry staff paths now a staff path will be something that only zookeepers and staff from the zoo can use if you have played even a tiny amount of planet coaster like i've done you'll be first of all thinking my gosh that is an amazing thing because you have no idea how long it takes your mechanic to get from one side of your your theme park to the other to repair a broken down roller coaster when you've basically caused a mass jam of tourists in the middle of your park so the fact that they could just bypass the lot of that walking along their own path is brilliant and i can see where that is going to work fantastically in the zoo and actually in a real zoo you would have that you have some zoos they show you some back to the back of the sort of scenes of the the actual animal care you don't see as a visitor giant muck heaps you don't see uh where all the food is stored now you may see animals being fed and you may see some limited preparation of food when you go to visit a real zoo however you're only seeing what the owners of that zoo actually want you to see so I actually think that the paths are a fantastic idea. One of the small controversies that has come up from this, and again, there's a lot on the forums and there's a lot of chatter on social media, is the reason that they've given for the staff paths is that seeing staff buildings will make your guests uh, dissatisfied. Now, actually that's not the case. When you read into it, it is not seeing the building, it is there is an aura coming off of those buildings. So there will be uh, an aura which I imagine um, in the immediate effect of the building, because an immediate area of the building is quite strong, and as it moves out it, it's, it, it, it drops down. Which means that you're not going to want to stick a staff building right next to a path that uh, paying tourists and guests are going to be traveling along some people have said well no that's not right because in the zoo you would see that you would have that but would you i was thinking long and hard about this and i thought most zoos that i visit you might see what you think is staff house or staff buildings which are information centers it's where you would go in and do active learning if you visit with school and they allow you to go in and help to prepare the food for the monkey those are open learning centers they are where activities happen that can be viewed by guests however they are not a true staff building a staff building will contain where the wellies go after you've been traipsing around in rhinoceros poo it will contain showers which you'll need to compulsorily have because some of the animals may actually have diseases that are contagious to pass on to other people actually outside of the zoo they are where the vets are based 
where things happen that actually you don't want paying guests to see. And so yeah, actually there is a level of accuracy there. There is a level of, no, we really don't want them that close to our staff houses or our staff building. Designing these is going to make it a bit more of a challenge. You can't just plonk down the paths for everyone to travel along because you want to plan where you're going to want to put these staff buildings first. But then you're also going to want to know which enclosures you're going to have. Which animals have got a higher demand? Because I imagine some animals are going to need a lot less interaction than others from the zookeepers. Are you going to want to base your staff buildings closer to those animals? Therefore, the travel time gets less. The zookeepers can make keep them happier. Which therefore, on the flip side, the other side of their enclosure that the guests can see will make that more interesting for them. But then is that going to compromise design? Now, there are some very creative and very clever people out there who will intricately design everything so that you can you won't be able to see it it'll be seamless my little logical brain because I, I work in squares is gonna go eh, i've got to have two sets of paths well that's fine i'll work that out i'm sure that i will have lots of time on the let's plays where i look completely frustrated because I've completely mucked up where I've placed something and now it's intricate to my entire zoo. I don't think there's anything to panic about. I don't think this um, aura given off that guests don't want to see the zookeeping buildings. Somewhere I wrote somebody written that they don't want to see the zookeepers. That's absolute rubbish. They, the zookeepers will be roaming around the park. They have no impact on anybody. It is purely that some of the buildings don't want to be in public show. And I think that adds a realism. If ever I'm asked, well, I would rather go for realism. So I'm kind of pleased with that. Looking forward to hearing more news from Planet Zoo. Looking forward to this week's Twitter and update you next on the next developer journal. Thank you very much. This is Cuddles.